Hello, the topic today is all about AI and how it can help you boost your speaking skills in English. But I have to be honest, I'm quite questioning how useful AI is at the moment. Let me let me back up a little. This uh, lesson was written, uh, I think, in the beginning of this academic year, so around uh, March, April of 2024. So around March and April of 2024, the hype, the high level talk about AI was very high. Everybody was saying, oh, AI is coming, it's going to take over the world. And oh, we have to be careful, humans will have to improve. We're, everybody's job is in danger. And that may be true. But so far, I don't think it's it's come for language learning. Not yet. There are a lot of potential, a lot of possibilities for how AI can really help. Um, and that's what really this lesson is about. It's the potential. The actual reality at the moment is not there. I think we're, we're now... Um, I'm, make, I'm recording this video three or four months after that, after the lesson was written. So I'm a little more cynical. But we'll go through this lesson and we'll have a look. And, um, you know, from the vocabulary point of view, it's all good. So let's have a look. Right. How can AI help you improve your speaking skills? And this is ideas from Chat GPT 3.5. Actually, Chat GPT is now up to 4.0. So this is an earlier version. And I think the problem with AI is it's it's like it gives you the average, the average wisdom. It doesn't really tell you, doesn't really come up with really original thoughts, generally speaking. Anyway, okay. So number one uh, is speech recognition technology, things like Siri and um, I don't know what does, what's Google speech to text. Um, I forget what it's called, but anyway, things like Siri, where you can talk to your telephone, or like uh, Amazon's Alexa. Yeah, I mean, you can speak to them in English, but if it doesn't understand you, is that because your English is bad or because the computer programming is bad? You know, sometimes Alexa doesn't understand me at all or doesn't want to give me what I want. So, hmm, but maybe. Uh, language learning apps, I can only think of like um, Duolingo, which is okay. It's getting better, but it's not the same as talking to a real human, I think. Number three, virtual language tutors. Okay, so that means like an online lesson, a virtual tutor. I'm Well, I'm talking to you on, on YouTube, so this is a virtual tutor. Nothing to do with AI, particularly. Um, number four, language exchange platforms. Yeah, you can, you could, uh, if you can find a platform where you can talk in Japanese sometimes and talk in English other times, find a, nat a native English speaker who wants to learn Japanese. Yeah, that's good. Can be good. But the quality, I don't know. And also, is that anything to do with AI? That's that's human, right? Uh, number five, pronunciation training tools. Yeah, this is like, I don't think they're really any good at the moment. I don't trust Alexa to tell me how to pronounce things or Siri. I don't practice Japanese with my Siri. Maybe in the future this could be developed. And number six, interactive conversational agents. Wow. Um, not quite here yet but this could be in the near future. The idea that you could just talk to the computer and it could talk to you and actually have an interesting conversation and could challenge you to improve your English. Yeah, maybe, I've not seen it yet. So, you know, these things could change the future of learning language, learning English. But I don't think yet, not yet. And as long as humans want to speak to other humans, I don't think it will replace teachers. Now, I'm an English teacher. Maybe I'm 
And maybe it's wishful thinking. Maybe I, it's just because I hope that I don't get replaced. But I'd like to think that the point of communication is to talk with other humans. Um, I don't really care what the computer thinks. I'm, I'm, it may be helpful, but, you know, same with computer art. It may be okay to look at, but it doesn't amaze me. Things might change, though. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I got three questions here. Number one, which of these tips might be helpful for you? These six tips talked about. Number two, what are the drawbacks of using AI? Drawbacks means negative points. What are the drawbacks of using AI? And number three, is there a future for human-led teaching and learning? I'm a human. You're a human, right? Is there a future for us uh, for learning languages? Okay, think about those three points, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.